What up, Yerk? This is your boy Game Fanatic, aka the Michael Jordan of Gamers, back with another video. And yeah, I know I've been going for a little bit, you know. Um, basically, man, I haven't, I haven't felt like making any videos. Um, I've been wanting to get a PVR and give you guys, you know, some HD quality videos. I thought I was going to wait out for that. And I was also going to wait for me to get a new computer for Black Ops, not Black Ops, for Battlefield. Um, but I got hit by a lot of bills recently, and it seems I may not be getting that new computer, so I'm probably just going to um, call and try to get another HD DVR and see if I can get, uh, you know, get y'all some HD quality videos on the Xbox. But uh, first things first, man, I want to give shout outs to the Goonies, man. Um, that's a little click I'm with, you know, and uh, I want to give a shout out, you know, to Comical, Dream, my man John Doe, I know y'all know him. Um, you know, anybody else I left out, man, I only know them three people really, but you know, it's a lot of us. You know, don't get mad if y'all see my video and I ain't shot y'all up, man, you know. Hell Child, I thought I had to get him in the Hell Child, I do know him. And uh, anybody else, man, that's affiliated. And it was wild that they uh, asked me to join their crew, man, because um, it took me a while to think about if I want to be in it, because I know I'm a hard person to get along with, and I'm, I want to thank y'all for, you know, dealing with me, because I'm a very opinionated person. I also don't, you know, if I feel like I need to say something, I would definitely let you know, and I'll hold back what I say, you know. I'm, gonna let you, I'm a straightforward person, so, you know, yeah, it's hard to get along with me, because I don't always... Have the same opinion as someone else will, and I would definitely argue with you. <laughs> you know, and Dream, Dream had to deal with that a lot. So, man, I just want to thank y'all for that, man. But, um, yeah. Anyway, this video is obviously about Madden. You see Madden in the background. And I just wanted to talk about, you know, how about how Madden is nowadays, man. You know, a lot of people saying it's. It's been trash recently, and yeah, I agree with that. Ever since it's been on next gen, you know, it's fallen behind uh, from what it was on past gen, you know. But you know, I, I just started thinking one day, like, is it really that bad? You know, is it as bad as we we making it out, to, you know, out to be, you know, the sim standard and everybody? Like, I remember back when I used to play Madden, like, I used to have fun with it. Like, I didn't notice all these problems, even next gen, like. When I used to play Madden 08, the only problem I had with Madden 08 was I didn't see any officials on the field. And I was like, this is next gen, why are there no officials? That was my only problem. But other than that, the game felt right. Oh, and the, the running animations looked weird to me, that was it. But other than that, the game felt right to me. I didn't know all these little problems that you see nowadays from the Sim Standard videos. Like, you know, Clipping through other players, clipping by the way is uh, what they call morphing on the sim standard. It's actually the scientific name is clipping. You know, I never noticed that. Um, I never noticed, you know, routes not being uh, ran correctly or the defense mirroring your routes and things of that nature. I never noticed that until like Madden 09. That's when I was I was going to check out some stuff on Madden 09 and everything and. Like I ran into an Apex video and I watched it and I was like, man, this this dude's just complaining, man. He's obviously a 2K fan, but he's just talking about a whole bunch of crazy stuff, man. But I was after watching this video, I started noticing these little things. Cause I always noticed I didn't like 09 that well. Like 09, you know, it had a lot of problems in it. Um, I only played it for like a month because my homeboy that was playing it, he ran this one play, one play only, and his receiver would get open behind all my defense every time even if I put them in prevent and back them up they would still get by my defenders so I just stopped playing that game and after that man I just started noticing all the problems and that killed the whole Madden thing for me like after seeing all that like I every time I see it in a new Madden I just don't want to play it so you know I, I've been taking up for Madden 12 this whole year you know I was talking about yeah it's going to be good you know that and NCAA 12 you saw me leaving comments you know, definitely on like Smitty's videos or Gettin's videos and Jay Music's videos, you know, going at it, talking about, yeah, Madden's improved this year. And then you saw me put out a video when Madden demo came out. I was raging about Madden, you know, saying it was trash. It wasn't as good as NCAA 12. NCAA 12 was a very good football game. It is, it is great. Um, 
I had an argument with Smitty on on uh, Xbox about that, man. He he tried to say it was trash. Well, that's his opinion, man. I, I can't get mad at him, you know. But um, I think it's a very good game. And Season 12 is a beast game, and you can play it on Hosman and not feel that cheated when you're playing a game. Like you can still throw your passes over your receivers' heads and lead them where you want them to go, things like that. And it, it's bringing you a challenge without really cheating. But Madden 12, on the other hand. On the hardest difficulty, that game was just incredibly, incredibly hard and cheating. Like you would just notice so many things going wrong. How the CPU would, you know, how they would just make the game tough for you by doing superhero type moves and things like that. But like I said, man, recently I thought about it, and I was like, maybe I was just, you know, raging for no reason. Because I used to love Madden back in the day, and back in the day I never played on the hardest difficulty. Um, the only time I would play on the hardest difficulty was when a homeboy came over and we were playing on the hardest difficulty. So that, that way we won't be airing the ball up for touchdowns all the time. And, you know, when you play against a player, even if you have it on the hardest difficulty, it's going to keep it a fair game because you're both going to have the same slider sets. So the game is not, you know, manipulating things that bad on it. And it made the game fun. It played realistically. Now, all the reasons Sim Standard finds all these problems in the game is because they have the game on either all pro or all Madden. And on all Madden, you're asking for the game to give you a hard competition. And it's going to play hard and it's going to cheat you to win. You're asking for this. Even on Hosman or NCAA, you're asking for the game to bring you that challenge. So the computer is going to do whatever it can to beat you. You understand what I'm saying? So. This is, you know, why I'm making this video because, like, you know, now I'm starting to see that I was raging for nothing. Madden is a, it's a pretty, very good game, actually, to tell you the truth. You know, I played it on All Pro, and on All Pro, it was a, a very, very good game. Like, I had a little challenge, and I could still play the game. You get what I'm saying? Um, like, you know, it was just a... A better experience than I had on all Madden. Now, I know a lot of people don't even let a comment saying, "Well, the game should be real, even on, you know, the hardest difficulty." But think about it, man. I know you guys saw my video about 2K5 when you put it on the hardest difficulty, right? I mean, you know, the the the, the play where my D back will always run a circle around their wide receiver while he was hitting the post, and it would leave him wide open for a pass. You know why? Because 2K5 also went through outlandish cheating ways shout out to outlandish that's you know that's a that's our crew you know <laughs> but uh you know it went through outlandish ways to try to beat you so that was one of the ways it would do it by removing your d back off the wide receiver by making it a circle there were also you know missed blocks you know missed blocking assignments were apparent on 2k5 if you ever played on our hardest difficulty um, you would see guys just running and blocking the wrong guy that had nothing to do with the play. And it would leave you getting sacked the whole game. But the thing about 2K, 2K had a lot of animations and a lot of glitz and glamour, which smoke screened everything. So you really didn't notice it. You, could, you know, it, it deterred your vision away from all the problems. So, you know, basically that's all Madden has to do. Just add more animations that look like football. You know, DB's sticking their arms out, you know, to feel where the receiver is while he's still, while the D-back is still looking at the quarterback. You know, things like that. You know, um, more linking tackles, you know, consecutive hit tackles. They have it on 12, but, you know, they could add more. The presentation could be better. Halftime show, post-game show. Just the way in 2K5. You know, they could do it like 2K5 did it. And... The game would be a lot better. People wouldn't even complain as much because, you know, they would have less to complain about. But, you know, I think they would still complain, man. Um, they still find reasons why because Madden is the only game out, and a lot of people still miss 2K5, and they're angry that 2K5 doesn't come out anymore. But, you just gotta deal with that, man. Um, 2K5 is gone. EA is taking over. But uh, yeah, this video. It's almost nearing the end. Um, 
Also, I want to tell you about some videos I'm going to come out with soon. Um, I'm going to come out with a video about 2K5 because I definitely saw a video about a sim standard where uh, people were talking about 2K5 even without competition is still setting the bar. Um, 2K12, not 2K5, my mistake, 2K12, the basketball game. That game still looks like 2K11 to me. Um, yeah, they changed the way the controls feel. feels a lot smoother, but that's not setting a bar. Madden 12 also did that, but people still said it's the same thing. And didn't say it set a bar. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a video about that. And also, I'm going to make some more Call of Duty videos. Um, I'm, I wish I had a PVR so I can get you some Black Ops videos, but um, if I don't get one in October, I'm, I'm trying to get one in November. But, yeah, this is your boy Tick, man, and I'm out. All right.